My name is Svetlana Chinenko, also known as The Real Svetlana on my socials. Wow, Zeblana, thank you so much for coming through CKT 90.3 FM. I just want to make sure I said your name right again. Yeah, you did. You got Woo! it. <laughs> good, good, because you know we got to make sure we say our sister's name. Our names hold power. And let's talk about your many hats. You're not only the CEO and uh, producer for uh, For Us TV. Mm -hmm. You're also a designer. Yep. And you, you just do so much. Let's get into your hats right now. Oh, well, I'm the president and founder of For Us TV Productions. Um, I'm a designer for the brand called Wusa. I was featured in uh, New York Fashion Week in 2020. Was it 2022? Yeah, yeah it seems so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I've been a mental health and human rights advocate for over a decade. I was a TV news contributor for seven years uh, in Canada, working alongside many people in different and from different news stations. Uh, but, you know, I always give back to the community. I'm somebody who always wants to do for the community, give back to the community. No matter what I'm doing, it always leads me back to community. I remember where I come from. You know, you actually have something that is for the community, mm -hmm. by the community, because you are a part of this beautiful community, uh, the, 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 the uh, diverse community yeah. that we have in North America. And uh, For Us TV, can you please let us know what is For Us TV? And it'll be launching very soon as well. Yeah, we've had a few hiccups, I'll be honest. Like we're starting your own television network or streaming network, you know, you come to find out that, you know, the things and the details that you think you knew, because, you know, I grew up in the film industry about, I would say about 30 years in the film industry, and I have a lot of experience in film industry, but, you know, I've, I've produced things before, but owning your own network is a little bit different. So I've been, you know, my team and I have been learning, and, and we really wanted to do something for our community. That's what we named it for us TV. But um, what we're doing is it's a streaming service, uh, video on demand, subscription based video on demand service uh, featuring our stories. So, really, from the BIPOC community and the BIPOC LGBTQ plus community as well. So, it's our TV shows, films, reality shows. And reality shows a little bit differently from what we see out there because I really want to hold our community to a different standard of how we're usually viewed. And I really wanted to create a space that was really for us to educate other people as well. So instead of being the minority, I wanted to be the majority and bringing all communities together from the black, indigenous and other POC, Southeast Asians, Latinx community, bringing everybody to one space. I think that goes back to my advocacy work that I've always done, because we always separate it ourselves, yes, you know? Yes. Black communities over here, Indians over there, yes, Latinx, you. and I always believe in bringing people together, so I figured that this would be the perfect platform and the way to use my advocacy and bringing communities together and bringing it to this platform. So this is what For Us TV is. It's really for us, it's our community, it's our stories, our way. Our way. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, I have the shows right now. <laughs> this is a little girl's dream to see more stories like these. Mm -hmm. uh, growing up, we don't see enough uh, representation in television, especially in television, radio, yeah. uh, even uh, videographers, beat makers. We don't see enough. So when you do something like this, this sends a huge ripple effect. It really, really does. It, it, it shows people, especially people who look like us, that yes, my story too is important. Mm -hmm. And you're also um, interested in stories from, from the community as well. Uh, they can also um, submit their projects to, to Forest TV. How does that work? That's correct. Right now we're doing um, open submissions because a lot of networks aren't, uh, they're not accepting direct submissions anymore. So the larger networks have stopped doing that. You know they want to create their own you know their own content and that's fine we all we do have for us tv original series that we're working on as well but we wanted to give the opportunity for filmmakers to have a space to be able to submit their tv series docu series documentary docudrama reality show cooking show whatever even if you're a music producer and you have you know you want to show your behind the scenes of what you do we're open to any form of filmmaking of course we want you know, it, you can you can be a student in film, but we want to see proper films. Of course, we want high definition films. Yes. We want good sound. Mm -hmm. Sound is important. Good lighting. But we're willing to give the community an opportunity to showcase what they have and have their voice seen on a platform. Because we will launch on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon TV, as well as the Google and Apple Play Store. We'll have our own app as well. So you're getting to be in a in a on a level of a platform that you are around over 300 million people because you have people on from Roku subscribers they have about over 100 million subscribers on Roku Apple TV so when you look at that when we launch even if we get just the 3% of the margin of viewing viewship on our on our base 
we're allowing the community to showcase their work as well. We get, we don't want to just take you know professional filmmakers, professional work. We want it to, like the highest grade. We want to show that community can also push out that type of work as well. Huh, I've okay. seen listen. I've watched some short movies and documentaries that I sat there watching. I was baffled when I found out it was a film student that put it together. I'm like, wow, this is something that could be you know put up for an Oscar. This is something that could actually win a lot of accolades, not just, you know, in festivals, but also at the Oscars. So I'm, I'm noticing things that maybe other, you know, streaming services or, or, or production companies aren't paying attention to. I'm paying attention to those things because I'm looking at, yes, we have the, you know, the Tyler Perry's and the, you know, of the industry, but we have people that have that vision, that have that creativity and brilliance but don't necessarily have the platform to put it on. Mm -hmm. Or they're on YouTube and they're not getting the views that they need to get. Mm -hmm. They need a bigger platform. And I realize and, under, and understand that, that we have so much talent in the community. And it's because of socioeconomical standards that a lot of them cannot show. We can't show what we have sometimes because we're looking, okay, how are we going to you know, do the marketing and the branding and how are we going to you know, have you know, these other platforms see us? That's why I say, you know, for us, TV is a new era of streaming. We really want to change the game. We want to do something that nobody else had the guts to do. Oh, wow. Well, we're going to get into your story and why this matters to you, where this all stems from and where this passion comes from. We're going to get into our next track right now.